आरटीवी में सभी का स्वागत है वॉम वेलकम टू आर टीवी इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल बी टॉकिंग टू चंद्रनाथ आचार्य एन एमिनेंट आर्टिस्ट बेस्ड इन बैंगलोर एंड एज अज करियर इन इन विजुअल आर्ट इज एन एक्सलेंट पेंटर एक्सलेंट प्रिंट मेकर एंड अब ऑल इज एन एक्सलेंट इलिस्ट्रेशनिस्ट whose career spans about some 30 to 40 years in creating excellent illustrations for various magazines and print media let us speak to him and try to understand what he says what he thinks about art and uh, his art journey a warm welcome sir ji thank you a warm welcome to art tv thank you yeah chandranath acharya is a uh, sir you are a well known name especially in the southern uh, indian art circle as an illustrationist you are one of the eminent persons of the country you have uh, you have such a huge uh, body of work uh, mm, uh, that is as a badge of honor for you thank you now before uh, uh, getting into the subject sir uh, we all would like to know your path traveled sir how did this art journey begin and uh, how was the process yeah the thing is i was born in a sculptor's family mm-hmm. my grandfather was a very good uh, sculptor and uh, metal worker and uh, he worked in dharmasala for about uh, 25 years mm-hmm. he did the um, uh the silver uh, chariot and uh, the main uh, chariot also mm-hmm. and, and at that time when i then i was very young uh, it had a, an impact uh, on my mind i can draw and my mm-hmm. grandfather's uh, brother also he was a wonderful uh, draftsman he was very good very good draftsman also mm-hmm. and uh, whenever he comes to my house i used to ask him to draw some, mm-hmm. some draw, drawings and i used to see i had to wipe it out you know, when going to school so i used to miss the school mm-hmm. just keep it in my <laughs> in my position for quite a long time okay so that was my <laughs> and then i slowly started uh, drawing in, in the childhood itself Mm-hmm. and uh, my grandfather used to work in front of me and i used to go to uh, his place and uh, that's how i was initiated and even prior to that my mother used to draw a lot i mm-hmm. used to, i was not a very healthy baby whenever mm-hmm. i fell sick she used to sit in uh, beside me and used to draw a lot of flowers garden and uh, birds and so many things mm-hmm. and telling me so small stories so that had a great impact on my mind but to and i used to love the birds smallest bird it used to be my wonder mm-hmm. uh, and this birds and fish still it linger in my mind uh, some way it does somehow it uh, appears in my paintings or in these images it's a recurring thought mm-hmm. then you know up to then i used to sculpt also i have done mm-hmm. so, uh, in my high school days i used to sculpt but uh, after few few i couldn't my parents couldn't afford to um, send me to college or anything i did my mm-hmm. bsc and then i was staying there fortunate i had a fortune of um, see dr shivram karant he was to be uh, he was the neighbor no oh. and uh, his daughter shama was my classmate since 6th standard to 11th okay uh, then i used to go to their place and ulas karant we, we were playmates uh, mm. the cricket team and also and he used to provide me so many books on uh, drawings and all the those thing i used to borrow and mm-hmm. uh, i used to practice these things and mm-hmm. uh, shivram karan uh, once uh, uh, 
he didn't know that i was uh, good at drawing but kshama somehow he, uh, he she told uh, her mother that chandranath is a very good artist in our class so he does uh, sculpting also and mm -hmm. some of the things to her and she was uh, thrilled to see that and uh, lila karan's sister she is a writer i think shanta some she was a writer kulkarni i believe mm -hmm. she was a singer also they used to come in the summer vacation they to uh, they used to go uh, come to karan's place stay there Mm -hmm. and uh, with the uh, with our daughter you know once i was uh, i we went to his uh, house to drink water mm -hmm. uh, after the play mm -hmm. so all the girls used to, uh, and uh, they were staring at something and uh, uh, giggling and sort of sort of thing and, uh, they were enjoying a book which, so i just peeped in and mm -hmm. i saw it was my my own toys okay <laughs> one of my friend he uh, stealthily took the drawing book and uh, gave it to the uh, lila mm -hmm. karan and mm -hmm. karan came then he was looking at the things and uh, uh, shama uh, lila karan started teasing me no 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 you started drawing my daughter's uh, uh, face and all <laughs> and the uh, and there were some dancing poses she was a dancer also so mm -hmm. she started teasing me you started drawing my daughter's uh, posters and all <laughs> then i was very shy at that time and mm -hmm. uh, i was you no know, gone flat and later karan saw my some of the landscapes mm -hmm. i used to do uh, imaginary landscape then he told me see if you want to draw a tree sit in mm -hmm. front of a tree study it well its personality its texture its construction all this you should observe this thing. then then uh, somehow i got uh, a kind of interest to do landscapes mm -hmm. that's a, that became a, a block mental block mm -hmm. however afterwards uh, you know uh after puc uh i failed in a one subject chemistry and mm -hmm. in the uh, you know september uh, that uh, i got the pass mm -hmm. and i was sitting idle then uh, one of my uh one of the cartoonist i believe you know, called uh, rabu mm -hmm. he was uh, he was a part pocket cartoonist in navbharata daily mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, he actually he was a by profession he was a lawyer his name, uh, real name is panne uh, padi ramakrishna pat mm -hmm. and uh, he was a very good illustrator and uh, he did a, he did a venture on you know publishing a magazine uh, kannada magazine monthly humor uh, humorous ma magazine mm -hmm. at that time it's called as uh, i forgot its name however it was wonderful uh, treat to see he used mm -hmm. to he used to uh, do the cover design for kalki magazine for about uh, more than a decade he stayed mm -hmm. so he gave me so many examples and uh, of his works and uh, he gave me a uh, insert and newton brush and an ink and asked a well, few papers and mm -hmm. he asked me to draw some drawings so that he can show it to the uh, navbharata publishers mm -hmm. and if, if they agree you will get a job as an illustrator so i was thrilled so mm -hmm. i did some i was it was quite raw however uh, at that uh, age you know i was uh, 15 years or 16 years you are talking about this in late 60s yeah 64 65 yeah okay yeah yeah then they do uh, 
it was got rejected my friend sent those drawings to mallige then mm -hmm. nadiger krishna was nadiger krishna a humorous writer he is well known writer in kannada he was editor of mallige magazine mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. asked we need a artist how much do you want the salary we expect mm -hmm. i didn't know anything about uh, the professional artists how, how much do they get and all those things so mm -hmm. i asked and inquired some of the, my friends who are working there and how much enough is enough to survive in bangalore mm -hmm. then uh, uh, i asked them 150 rupees okay yeah it was okay and i came to bangalore and joined uh, mallige okay uh, i start, there i started my career as an illustrator mm -hmm. uh, that was a, that was a beginning and i didn't know how to uh, you know render the suitable for printing because it was a block making thing whatever mm -hmm. you do it doesn't it never used to appear then i was fortunate enough to there was a block maker he used to fondly call me and uh, show me the illustration how it should be done and mm -hmm. all the technicalities and all the started teaching they use a great nice fellow uh, i'm really grateful to those people who, mm -hmm. who gave me so many informations inputs for my development and all then i worked there for uh, in mallige for two and a half years mm -hmm. uh, when i joined the, the mallige circulation was uh, 27000 mm -hmm. and uh, within two years it reached 83,000. Oh, okay. At that time. And uh, it was a really good uh, circulation. But till then, you did not have any formal education, no Ken School of Art, nothing. It was all self taught. Then in 68, I joined Ken School of Art. I started his school in Gandhinagar. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I joined there. And simultaneously, in the evenings, I used to go there and study this day. Uh, mm -hmm. art classes and uh, in 73 i passed out with the rank mm -hmm. throughout my career i got the first rank unfortunately mm -hmm. in the final year i got the second rank oh, okay for what reason <laughs> that is a different thing uh, however i am happy to <laughs> have that all those things in as an input for my growth mm -hmm. in between in 1970, I got an uh, uh, offer from Sudha weekly, mm -hmm. and I joined there. There was a fantastic team, and uh, it was a you know it was a kind of a talent pool. They mm -hmm. used to uh, they used to give offers to best il uh, illustrators, best professional people. So mm -hmm. here, there was a very good uh, art department, nursed well. And mm -hmm. our chief artist was an excellent uh, illustrator called uh, Ramesh, S. Ramesh, mm -hmm. and uh, one Mr. G.K. Satya, mm -hmm. and Publika, and uh, Sri Anand, myself, and uh, there was one more uh, illustrator. He By the time he left when I joined there, his mm -hmm. name was GLN Sima. He was a wonderful uh, illustrator. Mm. <coughs> down to earth you know we in a uh, popular magazine the general concept is to present it um, you know uh, we used to produce uh, we were asked to produce sweet pictures mm -hmm. so that attract, attracts so many people there was little thought in the, in the composition say some uh, hero, heroine, and uh, they were meeting in the garden, I think, mm -hmm. or, uh, uh, quarreling with uh, their uh, relations like that. The family. But uh, in uh, Rajavani, they used to publish modern stories. All the, okay. That was a separate thing. That was, I think, I think you joining Prajavani, which came uh, where, where you encountered the modern era. Now, uh, yeah, there, that, that is that is a turning point that is in the early 70s yeah yeah but i, I think bef before that you went to shanti niketan correct no 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 i later uh, you know 79 mm -hmm. i went to shanti niketan 
because i got fed up with this whole affair of uh, creating this you know sweet faces and like that and mm-hmm. it, i ha- it had a you know limited it used to limit your uh, capacities mm-hmm. and uh, even the, even at that point of time uh, the uh, art mo uh, practices in uh, bangalore also it was stagnant that's what mm-hmm. you know hepar felt hepar came as a chairman of academy so he did uh, made a scheme to send this uh, uh, talented people to outside baroda and shantini ketan so that there will be a nice uh, kind of exchange a uh, new wave a new wave to, coming in yeah yeah a kind of integration of so many thoughts and mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, you know it actually opened my my uh, you know vision i was thoroughly you know impressed from the that teaching kind of teaching you are free to experiment you, you uh, here or no karnataka the you know we have the thing is whether it is accepted by these people or that people and that kind of things was not there mm-hmm. our uh, teachers like somnath or sanatkar lalo mm-hmm. prasad shah and so many ajit chakravarti and they influenced us a lot and they used to encourage you and um, there was there used to be a nice uh, uh, you know a kind of criticism mm-hmm. you know then you know is a particular school of thought has got its own way of appreciation appreciating the things you know the mm-hmm. each school has got its own uh, you know you know the baroda has the their value systems is slightly different and shantini ketan people they used to observe the play the rendering mm-hmm. how, what uh, uh, you know capacities of an artist how he renders and uh, methodology of that thing and uh, you know special things in a particular rendering i think i'm clear the yeah yeah i got it i got yeah these things uh, used to encourage because each uh, as soon you as you make a print you put it on the notice board and all the students used to well fellow bees they used to come and see and appreciate it or uh, criticize it why it's so it's not so, that uh, you know maturity not is seen in that uh, rendering and is this kind of thing and uh, the composition was so strong uh, that kind of observations uh, with this uh, you know what each person has a uh, way of rendering the things we are everything is in his mind you know <laughs> i am basically a figurative i am not a uh, abstractionist so mm. i used to play with the figures only Uh, figures and surfaces and the tactile qualities of the print that is so how, how 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 did you find print making sir because you went from uh, illustration to, to print making now that was a huge shift yeah no no it has a real connections uh-huh. you know, making is a earlier thing uh, you know in uh, even in print uh, media mm-hmm. they used to uh, they used to have this wood cuts and uh, engravings etchings and all, all the things they used to you make use of that thing to in printing later you know technology has improved and they adopted mechanical uh, ways of uh, rendering a, a illustration i know i have the I, you know uh, in uh, second world war mm-hmm. so just used to do the sketches with the pen sketches and they used to send it to the uh, newspaper office there they used to if it is a 6 by 6 inch uh, illustration they used to cut it 1 inch by 1 inch so make it to pieces and call the expert engravers to engrave that thing within an hour and okay. all the, all those things will be joined and they used to print it to the newspaper that period from that period till now 
the technology evolved a lot. No, so, I, I, I would like, I would like to know. Like, yeah, the skill wise, it may be the same, sir. Skill wise, it may be, but chintan wise, hmm. I think that was a huge shift because you are going from a commercial entity to an artistic entity. So that's true. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, I was free to express myself. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever came to my mind, I used to draw because that used to help my rendering also. Because either, you know, from one small line, you put and it develops into a form and uh, you think of it. So there is a lot of time, times. Uh, so while you are putting a line, putting the lines, your thought grows. That sinks into your psyche and unknown person within you, the images, they creep into your image of image making. So that's why I call it to say, you know, uh, stream of thoughts. Mm -hmm. I start with the flower and it grows into a garden and it what, becomes... What are your favorite subjects, sir? Uh, in printmaking yeah, especially, what you would like to work in printmaking? Dreams. Dream country. Dream. Yeah. Dream. Yeah. And a kind of surrealist thing. But I can't mm -hmm. call it as it's uh, pure surrealist. Uh, you know, surrealist, because that used to be happen in uh, Indian uh, poetry or Indian rendering also. Uh, people, uh, the person with the wings, uh, devatas coming with the wings and uh, uh, many faces like that. It's yeah. done, but uh, a free thought process on the space. How you render into that, uh, recompose it. And a uh, small thing, like a bird, bird sits in on a stone and thinks, and and the things thought uh, creeping in into the mm. image making. That's mm. how a thought develops. You may call it a poetic rendering. Yeah, That's because in in an illustration, you 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 have to create something which is all which is depicting that story or that article or that narration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas in printmaking, you are into your world, into yeah. your huge world, my, my own world. That's. But when I when I see your paintings, because the your illustration is the entire series, I would like to talk later on because that's a huge one. Yeah. But before that, sir, I would like to come to your paintings. Yeah. Now, when you, when you, when, when I see your uh, print making things, it's all about dream. It's all about illusion. It's all about uh, something what someone imagination. Yeah. But when I come to your paintings, your no doubt your paintings is figurative. You have that Maharaja, that one character there, uh, always like. But the supporting elements are very contemporary, very modern like. And you have one dog there always, most of the time. In your paintings, yeah. Even though, how, however, realist, uh, figurative it is, but there is a huge abstraction in that. There is a huge imagination and abstraction in that. So, could you tell us something about that painting? What is that Maharaja ca ca character? What does it say? What is that dog? What are the contemporary elements? And how is that figurative and abstraction uh, marriage happening so beautiful? And yeah. the colors, oh my God. I think about your colors, I'll have to talk something again. <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. The, the thing is, a Maharaja concept, you know, in every story from a children's story, you'll start from a one, once there are once upon a time, there was a king. Correct. It's like that. That, yeah. if that is a, you know, continuous image, you know, like that. So today's uh, politicians also in the same garb. They are, their position is like a king. Mm -hmm. He's a common man, actually. Correct. It's like a only, but he's admired, adored, and like that, you know, people have that thing. But I see them, they are like us only. But we a have, common uh, man. yeah, that image, and I wanted to play. This mm -hmm. little bit politics enters there. Politics also. They, you know, they are all like, Ordinary people, yeah, they uh, put their uh, fingers into nose and 
nose digging and picking <laughs> ears and true, true, true. that's a humorous thing because they they have a uh, you know code of uh, conduct how to present themselves and all maharaja will sit like this and like the grand ganga but in their private life they are like us only that's yes, why sir. i want to make them but the but the women there the dog there you yeah. can have a telephone there everything is very modern but yeah. the maharaja yeah. is maharaja is a very traditional character yeah. that is the you know a continuous continuity of time you know if you put a traditional woman on the of mysore style mm. uh, that takes you to the that period and, uh, and another the time changes keeps changing he wears a shoe modern shoe and a dog a dog is a conscience mm -hmm. it is the symbol of conscience it wonders what's this and all these things what uh, there in uh, at the background so many things happen his political affairs and his uh, cruelty to so so many things and all the emotive things i put and so that this um, uh the whole vision uh, a time in the time scale it moves front and back and the story is the same correct it is an eternal story of the correct. maharajas their predicament predicament and how they behave that kind of, i did glorify but made them as a as a you know uh, very articulated uh, clothes and all those things yeah. i didn't mm -hmm. do brisk sketches or all that i made it very pleasant tip correct that's but, the yeah um, the lines the lines in your in your, in your paintings sir they are quite thick loud if at all you see the you see the forms also like for example the maharaja mustache forms it's so it's so like you know it's very strong it's like so you want the dress or even the things like so mm -hmm. how do you man how, how do you do that and your compositions also are they are like you know always uh, they, are, they are never the traditional ones it's like you break that composition and you have those uh, the diagonal lines and forms from somewhere something will be coming in coming out will be placed like it's it's like it's a complete drama a it's huge like drama a, suddenly it's like a kind of surprise surprise elements suppose i if i talk to you now some mm -hmm. bird comes here it's an amusing thing correct <laughs> and another bird comes and there's also a big thing for me all the happenings around and you uh, very story around true. that that happens true it's like but yes there is a there is a surprise element sometimes there is a shocking element sometimes there is a awe element but totally yeah. it's a drama happening your yeah. painting is like it's a huge play so when i look at your print making sir that is totally illusionary a dream like thing whereas your paintings is is a drama yeah drama which is uh, which which is uh, presenting the society or the man uh, running in times it's like how do you switch from that that's I know. from an illusion to something which is like playing with time yeah this the thing you know there it was a student days i need not uh, i i was exploring my capacities mm -hmm. my dream content how to present it how to give strength to that and all these things used to happen simultaneously so mm -hmm. after that's one stage of uh, you know education education in that whole period i started thinking about me where do i stand what's your mm -hmm. capacities and what are you in the thing you know your mental capacities what are all there are so many images it's a you know dream anything may happen any time uh, simultaneously it happens what to always you know i used to keep it in mind and then i started another series of malls in this modern malls you know in mm -hmm. 90s uh, that he uh, appeared in uh, bangalore landscape mm -hmm. so i used mm -hmm. to, that's where i used to go to the, there were plenty of glasses glasses used to reflect to 
you are imagined into another thing, another thing. There are so many things. It's a, it's a great drama of imagery. Mm -hmm. Then I used to put something about myself also. And I used to tease certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> like that. It's a way of looking at the things, you know, in a, like a child. When you enter into a place, you are, everything is curious. So mm -hmm. even the lighting. Uh, and each one and the real, real thing used to merge into unreal. This Correct. reflections. Correct. That is the magic in me. That used to amuse me a lot. That's mm -hmm. how I started that uh, series. Then, okay. late, then later I did the uh, encounter series. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whenever you, suppose I meet you. There is something happening between me and my Correct. thought process and this process. Suppose I meet any per another person, I don't know what is he all about. I I have my own image uh, image of uh, I, you know I imagine he might be like this that that and while we talk it turns into something else. These experiences made me amused, so I used mm -hmm. to draw that thing like encounter series. Then okay. I la uh, later this uh, Maharaja series. That's the you know that is uh, uh, that element. You know it appeals to everyone. You can okay. put it any place. It's not for a uh, only a museum kind of uh, museum pieces. It it should reach everyone. Everyone Correct. should be able to enjoy it. If he has more time, he will think of oh, this dog is something else, and this man is somebody, and he used to, they that the process will uh, everyone will enter into such things. Correct. That's my idea. I don't want to make it a pure abstract. I'm not an abstractionist, but my figures should entertain them and also lift them to a different level. Yes, that's my idea. Yeah, exactly. That, 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 that's a brilliant approach, sir. Because every man, even individual wise, also we have a lot of dramas internally happening, yeah, and uh, which we may not speak to the outside world, yeah, but definitely there is a lot of drama happening inside In everyone's, yes, everyone's, yeah. Then uh, there is a lot of there is an there is a constant uh, encounter between unreal and real, imagination and facts, yeah. everything, and that's where the drama happening always. Like. Yeah. And so when I see your paintings, it reminds me of all this, uh, the this internal drama happening within us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the yeah. idea. But what surprises me, what sur <laughs> surprises me, or you know, what amazes me is like. I see your print work, totally a dream world. I see your paintings. It is that internal drama and chaos represented so nicely. But sir, when I see your watercolor, the pace, the, 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 the power there, the tenor there, the, the pitch there is totally different. Suppose if some, if I keep your print uh, if i keep your painting and then your watercolor illustrations where you have this entire pauranic series happening i don't think so any uh, anyone suppose if 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 i uh, i just keep the artworks and don't show you people definitely will think that's a different artist and this is a different artist because the way the chaos that your paintings has, that your print has, but whereas in your watercolor, the stillness, sir, the power in that, and the depiction of that entire Pauranic. For example, I fell in love with this. I think I, I, I have, I have been back in my hometown. I have a such a thick book, wherein I have cut all the pages of that Sudha and those other magazines wherever you had the illustrations and I've pasted it there. I have such a thick book. So I'm a fan of yours from that end. 
wherein like you know for example there was vishwamitra meneki or that mahabharata series the way how bhim was the way how ram was hanuman was entire thing now my question sir is when you from this totally imagination chaotic world and suddenly you come down to something which is uh, uh, which is so puranic now for example the characters like bhim krishna now everyone in this world they have then uh, they have their imagination of that bhim or krishna and when they see your paintings everyone is appealed it's not, i i have not heard anyone saying that no bhim is not this way krishna is not this way or vishwamitra is not this way that meneka one this thing is there meneka one which you had done. so <clears throat> i did not find anyone debating arguing or something like how could you capture that imagination sir of those characters this happened you know in the 70s i used to draw um, most of my works you know uh, one side is the model stories used to happen mm -hmm. i used to do justice for that and another way in uh, another sudha was a popular magazine Mm -hmm. I should not disappoint those people, the readers. Mm -hmm. so I should do justice for both. So I started, uh, you know, a strange, a tamasha happened to I went so I went to my friend's house. There he introduced to uh, his uh, niece or somebody, uh, his Chandranath and his uh, great illustrator in Karnataka and all. Mm -hmm. For a while, she thought and say the one who draws uh, one's foot in another's mouth is the same artist. Then it, uh, you know, it was an awakening for me that uh -huh. what, whatever the language you speak, it should be understood. If I talk to you, you should be able to grasp it, certainly. Correct. So that gap was there. I felt that. See, mm -hmm. we are in our own world that we are creating those things and the connectivity is lost. There's a big gap between the common man understanding and uh, the art field so height and width and breadth of it. There's a vast gap. So I thought it was I thought it's my duty to connect it properly so that they will get educated in the process. So once I do some kind of uh, you know in every uh, in every illustration, I used to produce, uh, put one uh, still life there, a uh, flower pot and uh, some statues expressing, mm -hmm. expressing the same tone of the that uh, content. Mm -hmm. So then I thought I had an opportunity to illustrate uh, a pura Puranic uh, novel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Vachana Bharata, I believe. Yeah. yeah by A.R. Krishna Shastri. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, I, uh, why, why not I try this? Uh, because I had a plenty of uh, imagery from Chandamama and all those things in my head. I used mm -hmm. to get that MTV Acharya, Vapa, mm -hmm. and Chitra, Shankar, and so many people. He, they impressed me a lot in my childhood. So, um, why, why not I try with these things? I started doing that. I started studying my, it's a self study for me. Uh, the whole affair. Uh, I used to refer so many paintings, uh, Michelangelo's, so many things, and how to Indianize it. In the, see, in the comic illustration is different. It has its fixations of the mm -hmm. forms, you know. Uh, Phantom is uh, mighty too, muscular and all. Or whereas Rama is not like that. It's a very supple, subtle body. Supple body. True. And a uh, greatness. That's an Indian kind of thing. So I brought it back to the that kind of imagery. To the Indian context, like completely. Context. I wanted to present it like that. Then I developed it. It was education for me. The whole affair of uh, uh, doing the, those illustrations, of course, as you said, there were plenty of followers for uh, at that thing. Whenever I went to uh, uh, North Karnataka or any part of Karnataka, they used to say that I have got the full collection of your uh, 
true i think all artists all art students in the initial whenever they are like they have that confidence yeah yeah and that's like oh, whatever little i know i can uh, present it humbly to that <laughs> my whether from it's that they are the you know they feed me you know yeah i grow with their admiration when uh, when i used to see your watercolor sir one more thing which i observed like i almost found it like a film like mm. as though the camera shot is like it's a long shot it's a medium shot it's a close up yeah. shot whereas yeah. you see in, in your paintings or in your in your uh, uh, in a prints that's not the case there but whereas in your watercolor you have yeah. that zooming effect like a camera effect yeah. that, that is one thing and the second thing what i was very much amazed was i was surprised i'm amazed and i i, I really love this aspect is well. when i see your those watercolor illustrations which you have done for the magazines it it takes me back to that time or it 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 gives me like you know okay maybe during mahabharat time the entire environment was this way the trees were this way the sky was this way the time was and space were this way the characters were this way like this now how, how do you do that sir how how do you how do you take how, how can you uh, or how do you render that where you can take people 5000 years back for example vishwamitra menake one of the this thing where vishwamitra was there and menake was there definitely you see that menaka it's like it's not any contemporary beautiful woman you know probably maybe 5000 years back it was this way it's like those trees those roots those uh, even those ornament like bima skada gida and all you know those bow arrows the fingers the anatomy and all how, how do you do that rendering sir can you just throw some light on that perhaps it's a process of developing an image uh, i take uh, a lot of uh, uh references from uh great painters and all those things i keep on watching them and how i can adapt it to uh, you know suppose if you don't have that uh, postures we don't have that it so happened i will tell you the thing once i had been to bangkok mm -hmm. for a workshop there i met uh, mr carl gude who was a wonderful illustrator in uh, us he did the uh kennedy shoot out uh drawings for mm -hmm. time magazine he was our director for time magazine mm -hmm. he said you know throw away all these computers i am interested in seeing this how you people draw with you and that's the music real music you know when you create a line put a line on the paper that creates a the music then uh, I, i had uh, two illustrations of uh, uh, this mahabharata i gave it to him he was mm -hmm. really observing and asked me man how much time do you take for this mm -hmm. i said uh, three to six hours because it's a magazine mm -hmm. i'm working for a we have constraints of time he said man you are bluffing no 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 sir that's harsh to reality we have i was curious to ask him but how much time you would have taken mm. he said 6 to 12 days but yeah. our approach is the same thing but uh, we do the sketching like this and uh, get the approval from the party and ask to uh, bring the models the real models and uh, with the props we take it same lighting we arrange and take the pictures and we again we paint so that the imagined thing comes to the reality uh, we try to bring it to the reality that mm -hmm. is our approach but we don't have that kind of facility everything we will have to depend upon so many uh, pictures photographs and all those things and uh, it takes so much of pain and it's a pleasure for me to learn so so many things so i did i developed that kind of thing you know uh, anatomy drawing i used to produce draw 100 drawings per day that was my, my discipline mm -hmm. the drawings directly on paper all my colleagues as one of my colleague has collected it in the, it's in his collection mm -hmm. and he is no more all the uh, rough drawings i used to copy all the uh, 
uh, anatomy and uh, this all masters western masters uh, so that i could understand certain things you know about human anatomy and all those things. that's how i developed that excellent sir <clears throat> just uh, my next question would be uh, like when i see your illustrations from that time that is 80s 90s or then when i see the illustrations now then there's a there's a gap which i feel of course there are talented people right now also but still in spite of that uh, i feel there is a gap gap in the sense many illustrations i feel it uh, they are uh, they are lifeless looks like you know we maybe a stay synthetic it's it's it's, it's very synthetic and it's a uh, more of borrowed information it's not something which is a uh, uh, evolved or it is you know studied or done or imagined or you know visualized and done it is more sort of a borrowed information and it's more sort of a fast food like thing yeah with yeah. something has a, a a taste which by evening you'll forget it yeah it's also that uh, the idea is also the same you know see it is uh, in the morning it comes to you and the evening it becomes a uh, some uh, pani puri true. package true true that's so that's a short life but uh, how to make it uh, you know stay into their art that should be the concern of an artist illustrator a writer also has the same you know say whatever he writes is it does it should not die by the evening the it's a concern of artists also it should be there but unfortunately time has changed and uh, more uh, it's a is this like i see it like it may it may have a good taste but it's not healthy like it doesn't have something depth like yeah yeah it's That's like what... yeah could, could you some throw some light on this gap sir or do you think what would be the measures for filling no, this gap there are still but the, see everything there should be a nursing system uh, that system should have a greater perspective see our our people should have this kind of knowledge and we should be the pioneers in these things that kind of pride should be there it's not a simple that has been reduced over a period you know it's a simple business you no know, this kind of this illustration uh, this much is enough and that kind of thing previously the journalists or the the companies had that pride see mm -hmm. we produce such a thing. Uh, quality materials that pride should be there that is eroding i don't know it might be because of this new management theories and all they will calculate you know how much time do we take for this once it happened in uh, one uh, of my uh, in uh, our office also Mm -hmm. there was a new management people came and once they they wanted to evaluate how much time one person works how much time he invests on this work and they simply ask how much time do you take for this it depends suppose mm -hmm. it's a chemistry uh, thing or a uh, you know about uh, physics or any such things you have to do certain kind of research and uh, get the resources resources Very good. Them, uh, and uh, we have to cook it in such a way that it should reach the uh, uh, target properly Very so that kind of things is a thinking process sometimes suddenly you get an idea sometime in now you don't get you don't even go nearer to that that Very kind good. of effort is there but they don't understand it they uh, generalize it in such a way that why do this you know we want within that time you do some figures and go that kind of attitude perhaps it is a tragedy of this time and it's of course cultural flow is cut it didn't go grow yeah For do you time, do you still paint watercolors or do you still do illustrations i i enjoy it 
because with the brush I can do work fast faster than the computer. True. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the reason why I, I, I asked this was like, you know, because I would love that you create such a body of work still, suppose even if you are retired, mm. that things should be continued and it, it will remain as an asset because I recommend that anyone who wants to learn watercoloring, watercolors, the rendering and then should, should, should get do a good study uh, about chandranath acharya's painting about your paintings and that that entire series it's like uh, uh, i am sure it's going to remain forever sir in this in this field of art <laughs> that reference will always be there about not but because. but it is such a fantastic thing to see you as a person as that mind because i many a times wonder that mind of yours which goes from that illusion to this contemporary chaos and to this such subtle thing like, you know, there are three different moods, three different rooms like. So always, uh, many a times I wonder like, how how does he do this? How does he go from this way like? No, no, the thing that is a compartment. I don't have that compartment in my mind, right? I, you know, I enjoy all the things uh, working with those things. It is a, it's a kind of challenge for me. If it is demanded, otherwise I do my own uh, works. Excellent, sir. Yeah. Excellent. It was nice talking to you, sir. Very nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. We definitely will meet again to yes. know more in detail about your. I would be very much interested to still do another thing only on those watercolors. Sure, sure. Which is uh, which is uh, that's so fascinating for me because um, I have I still have many 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 things to talk, many things to ask, many things to share. <laughs> so when it comes to that entire series, I'm totally fascinated by that. Okay. But uh, uh, I think I've taken a lot of time of yours, sir. No, I think I'll uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. We'll definitely meet catch once again, sir, for this and uh, this thing, friends. I believe that uh, you must have enjoyed this discussion with Chandranath Acharya. Chandranath Acharya is based in Bangalore, an eminent artist. Definitely do see his see, see the images of his works on Google website or other things. You will be amazed. And uh, thank you very much for it. Thank you very much, sir, for being with us and sharing the things. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Do watch and like, subscribe, Art TV do comment uh, do let us know what you think about in the comment box and uh, do subscribe our tv thank you very much <laughs>